primarily for me, one of the major tips is don't close an avenue of employment that you might not be 100% sure about. For me, I didn't start out as a civil engineer. I started out doing computer programming and got an internship for that. Wouldn't have been something I would have gone for if I only looked at civil engineering, and it is made me a better person, uh, think a little bit more logically about things. So if it's a topic you might be interested in, or if it's not necessarily a topic that you're getting a degree in, it's still worthwhile to, uh, to explore it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say first impressions go a long way. Um, having, you know, take the time to put together a nice resume, even if there's not much on it, just attention to detail and little things like that is really, really helpful um, and in our industry attention to detail is critical and so um, just showing that like even in the little things you can you can do that even you know like I guess just uh, I think it's good for people to kind of go through mock interviews and practice things like that so that it's a little easier a little more natural when you, you come up and talk to people I find a lot of times that it's not natural for people when they don't have any experience doing it and so it's it's a struggle for them, um, but it's something that you want people to just get confidence in it. Um, just trust your own abilities and trust your own skills and just work on honing those things. So I think those are things for people to focus on. That would be good. So. I guess my tip for incoming freshmen and interns would be to branch out and make sure that you explore the different areas of knowledge and uh, don't be so close-minded because you don't know where your strengths are going to be and so explore all the areas that you can, develop yourself in different, um, I guess, practices and take as many electives as you can. So, yeah, that's what I would think is a good way to succeed as an intern. My best advice to start applying for internships and jobs out of college it's definitely just to have the confidence when you're going into interviews. A lot of times people don't have the skill set it takes like right out of college. Um, but the confidence behind what you do, skill sets are always taught, but the mindset behind it is not. So that's the biggest thing I'd say.